spoilers for the week of September 13th, 2021 on The Young and the Restless are in. What will happen after Ashlyn is forced to confess his shocking secret to Victoria? What will Mariah tell Abby after Dominic's baby christening? And why the hell would Nick ask Aunt Jack if he and Phyllis are a good fit for each other? Find out now on Spoilers Decoded with Keisha Chantal. Hello, Soap Opera Nation. Welcome back. I'm your host, Keisha Chantal, and it is time to break down these spoilers and try to make some sense out of nonsense. But before we begin, you have some classwork to do. Number one, go ahead and click the subscribe button at the lower left hand corner of the screen. Number two, hit the like button. You might as well because there is no love button and I know you're going to love this video. Number three, comment, comment, and comment some more. Soap Opera Nation is best enjoyed with friends. So it's good to get down in the comment section so you can be petty and talk to others about your speculations. Number four, make sure that you watch the video to the end so that you don't miss anything. There might be a pop quiz later. All right, that's it. So let's start the show. Everyone's favorite busybody billy goat will be hella excited about the fact that none of his journalists managed to dig up any bones out of Ashlyn's early years closet because this proves his theory that he's been yammering about all along that Ashlyn has something to hide. So expect Billy to not walk, but literally run to Victoria with the bad news. Pissed off and practically ready to blow a gasket. Victoria will then head home and tell Ashlyn what Billy told her. I asked you if there were any secrets that I needed to know and you said no. And now that he's received this mysterious text that claimed that he's being hard to keep track of, expect Ashlyn to see the walls closing in and decide to come clean to Victoria about some secret that will leave her wondering, hmm. This was something I'd hoped you'd never need to know. Who is this man that I'm about to marry? Now, could that shocking secret be this great theory that came from one of my followers on Instagram. Sutherland9377 says, does anyone think Ashlyn's mentor might have been Jack's mother, Dina? Wondering if she was his mother too. I gotta say, that's absolutely brilliant. If they managed to somehow tie that in because, you know, they've been showing us for a long time that Dina gets around. <laughs> So I wouldn't be surprised if somehow Ashlyn is tied to this woman. Coming up the week of September 20th, Jameson Jones debuts as Ashlyn's New York lawyer, Jesse Gaines. I bet Jesse was the one that sent the text to Ashlyn. So let's see if he plans to play nice or sell his secrets to the highest bidder. So now that Ashlyn has come clean with this shocking secret, there's gonna be some ripple effects. First, Victor will not take anything that Ashlyn says at face value. I mean, from one ruthless guy to another, you can't expect Victor to go, oh, okay, all right, thank you for sharing that with us. No, 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 no. Victor's alarm bells are still gonna be going off and he's gonna confront Ashlyn all about this. You know, just to kind of gauge where he's coming from and if he's telling the truth or not. Then, as far as Mama Bear Nikki, she will do a little confronting of her own by cornering Billy later at some point and saying, yo, what's up? What are you doing? You've moved on, you're in your own relationship, and yet you are obsessed with my daughter. It is so tragic, so pathetic, and it's true. I agree with Nikki on that. But all the same, I think Nikki is ultimately wasting her breath the same way that Lily will be wasting her breath when she chimes in to try to get Billy to toe the line. Let's see what that does for his love life with Lily. Because Abby's appetite to have it all is insatiable, she will continue to attack us with another clueless request. This time, she wants Devon and Mariah to be Dominic's godparents. Really, girl? Haven't you asked enough favors to last a lifetime? Anywho, poor Mariah will not be able to handle the christening well. She's gonna put on a brave face, but on the inside, she is literally shattering into a million pieces, just trying to hold it together. At the reception, 
Mariah will approach Abby and say, listen, I've come to a decision. It's just something that I need to do for me. And my guess is, is that she's going to tell old girl that she's, she can't live in the Chancellor Mausoleum anymore because she's literally suffocating from her presence and everything that's going on around her. And I'm like, Good for you, sis. Reclaim your time from Abby the Albatross. I'm 100% behind you on that one. Leave before she hangs around your neck and brings you deeper and deeper into sadness. Save yourself. In the cold light of day, after he's professed his undying love to Phyllis, Auntie Jack will try to take it all back the next time he runs into her. I look forward to that conversation because Auntie went all in with his feelings, as you will remember. What's he gonna tell her, that it was a loneliness talking? Later on, Nick and Aunt Jack cross paths at Crimson Lights, and for some odd reason, Nick takes it upon himself to say this. Do Phyllis and I seem like a good fit to you? Bruh, if you have to ask what he thinks about your current relationship, then you've already lost. It says here that Adam and Chelsea are gonna have another conference call, at which time Chelsea is gonna give him some kind of ultimatum. And then I start to speculate and wonder, could it be that she's gonna demand that he give her more time with Connor or she's not gonna work at Newman Media? Or could it be that he fires Sally or else she's not gonna work at Newman Media? <laughs> Either way, I kind of see Newman Media being used as a leverage. Let's see what he does. But whatever comes out of that conversation, it's going to lead Adam to seeking out Sharon again and asking her for her help with poor, innocent, defenseless Connor. And of course, you know, Sharon's going to jump to the chance because she already told us last week as, while she was telling Nick that she just cannot turn her back completely on her precious Adam. And then the week of September 20th, expect that to blow back on her because she's going to have to defend herself. And guess who she's going to be defending herself to? Yes, Ray. Because Ray can't stand Adam and he's always going to be a thorn in his marriage. Ray should just give it up and just say, hey, let's just have a polyamorous relationship. You can have two husbands, Sharon, or I can be your husband and Adam can be your boyfriend because I'm tired of fighting, girl. I'm spending all my, my time on the beat trying not to solve crimes, and it's exhausting work. The last thing I want to do is come home and fight with you over Adam. So just go on ahead and be with him. I'll take Tuesdays and Thursdays and every other weekend. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, it might be better for your mental health. Just give in. Well, that wraps up this week of Spoilers Decoded on The Young and the Restless. What do you guys think of these latest developments? Are you awake? Are you asleep? Or are you in a coma? Let me know in the comments. Until next time. Uh -huh.